Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today I'm going to do a card which you can, if you want to, make it into a lighting up card. You don't have to, but I thought I'd show you how it's put together in case you did want to make it light up. The normal card base has one difference. It has a whole chest here in the front and these pieces here are literally just glued onto the front of the card and I've got my Santa and my reindeer there as well. Now I've done this slightly differently in that I did this piece as a separate piece and instead of allowing the white to show through, which is the base of the card, I've coloured a piece of card and then cut it out in this particular shape and put it in like a puzzle piece. But I thought I'd show you where to put your light if you want to make it a lighting up card. And what you do is, if I can show you on this blank here, this is my last layer of the card and there is a little window there and I want my light bulb to go just above that window. So you can put the front on your card, mark it with either a pencil or you can just use one of these little pointy tools to mark it where that window is and then position the light bulb above it. And I've chosen to do just one light bulb in this particular case. So there's my light bulb. Now one wire goes down through a tiny little hole, again that's in the file, and goes to the back of the card. And what I've done is I used a pair of tweezers and I got the wire and I just twirled it because if you've got a nice twirly bit of wire on here, it gives you a better contact. So on the front of the card, I've just put the wire around in a loop so that it is long enough to go over the battery, which is going to be here. So if I put my battery on here and press, you can see that it lights up. There we go. So what I need to do is to go to the inside of my card and just fold this wire out of the way for the moment. I don't want it to make contact at the moment. Now keeping my battery up the correct, the correct way and as it happens this side, the negative side, is going to be on the top in this particular instance. I put that on top of my battery like so and then just use a piece of sticky tape to stick it in place. Now the one thing you want to be aware of is that you don't want to go too close to the edge because you need to put a layer of foam tape over the edge. So it doesn't matter if the sticky tape is under that but you don't want your battery too far near the edge. But again, considering where I put the hole that's where you want to put your battery, so it shouldn't be too difficult to follow. So again, if I go to the other side and I press down, the light comes on. So how do we get this to, to go on? Obviously, we don't want this on when someone is having this car delivered to them in the post, but we want them to be able to switch it on. But it's a relatively easy thing to do. I have a piece of card here and it's got double-sided tape on it. And so what I want to do is lift up the backing on this and put it underneath my wire and put my backing back on. Make sure you put it on the right way around or else you'll stick your card like so. There we go. And all you need to do is to write some simple instructions on that little piece of card like flip, peel and stick, whatever. Whatever you think someone will understand. I think the flip, peel and stick will probably do the trick. And then when they get the card, they do that and they complete the circuit. Now one of these batteries, which is a, 20, a CR2016, will last for about five days. If you put in a CR2032, it will last for over 10 days. I know because I've tested it. If you're going to put more than one lamp in, that will probably deplete the length of time that it will 
power for. Now remember when you put your tape on you need narrow tape because it obviously needs to stay behind this frame. So I'm going to try and line that up now. There we go, that's the card done. And if I just briefly remove my protection there, you can see how it lights up. I don't want to take that off for very long though, because I don't want to risk sticking my card together or my contact down before I want to use it. So, there we go. So that's the finished card. I think it looks quite nice and it's definitely different. It's a little more of a masculine card, I think, perhaps, than a lot of Christmas cards are. Now, I did do another version of this and I'll just get that to show you. Right, here's the other version that I've done. You can see that it's not a flat card. I've actually bowed the front quite liberally by making this front piece wider. That's all you have to do. And to make sure that you have some end pieces which will fold back. So literally there is a fold down here instead of the card finishing, that's a fold. The other thing that I did with this one is instead of having the two different uh, cutouts, so this one is trees, and the other one is buildings. I've got two here of buildings instead and I've put one which is flat across and then this other one which is bowed and I've gone for all the same colour in the back and I've just put some white accents on to represent snow and so it gives a different look to this one but it is the same file so you know you can pick and choose out of the pieces which ones you want to do. And in this particular case, I have put the lamps behind both of these layers. So they're pretty well hidden. You'd have a job to see them if you looked down on top of the card. Okay, that's it. I hope you like them. The file will be linked below as normal. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't and I hope you enjoy making them. Take care now. Bye-bye.